Our project for today is the Felicia or Blue Daisy. The Blue Daisy is quite a small flower. It only measures up to 3 cm across. To do this, we would need a piece of blue crepe paper, green crepe paper for the sepal, egg yellow crepe paper for the center, 28 gauge wires, 24 gauge wires, pair of scissors, tacky glue, florist tape, Japanese crumpled paper for the leaf and double-sided paper. First, we do the center. To do this, we need around 12 millimeters and 10 millimeters pieces of yellow crepe paper. First, fully stretch the 12 millimeter crepe paper. Fold to half against a grain. Line some glue on one side and paste together. Fringe the paper half deep, cutting it as fine as you can. Get the 24 gauge wire. Fold one end of the wire. Dab some glue on the crepe paper. Attach the paper to the wire and firmly roll it against the wire until the end of the fringe. Press it down until it is nicely set. Then we prepare the outer layer of the center. Get the other piece of yellow crepe paper and stretch it out. Fold to half along the grain and fringe it two-third down the grain. Again, fringe it as fine as you can. After fringing, gather together the whole piece and slightly twist the fringe part using your thumb and index fingers. It will give you nice textured fringe tips. Put some glue and attach it to the center. Trim out tips that pick out of the center. Press the base to ensure it is snug and fair. We set this aside and make the petals. To do the petals, get the piece of blue crepe paper. Stretch it a bit and fold to half along the grain. Divide the paper into six parts, cutting two-thirds down the grain. This will make 12 petals in one piece.
slightly stretch the tip of each segment with the edge of the scissor to open it up. Gather and press together at the base. Line a small amount of glue at the base. Get the center and attach the petal to it, spacing each of the 12 petals evenly as you paste. As you may notice, we have not yet cut to shape the petals. Don't worry, we do that later. Our goal now is to evenly space out each of the petals around the center. We finish the flower with a sepal. Get a piece of green crepe paper around 10 to 12 mm. Cut small sepal shape. Slightly curl out the tips of the sepal. Add some glue and attach it to the base of the flower. Press it down firmly. So you'll have a good and clean finish of the base. Cover the wire with florist tape. Now that our flower is almost ready, we now cut to shape the lip of the petals. Stretch it one more time using the edge of the scissor to open the ends a bit more. Using a curved craft scissor, cut to shape the lip of each petal slightly rounded. When working with small flowers, I find it more efficient to cut the lip of the petals after it is attached together, than cutting it to shape early on. Most of the time, the stem of the blue daisy is partly red here and green down the stem. So we just put some red soft pastels to make that highlight. We're done with the flower. We will now make the leaves. For the leaves, we'll use Japanese crumpled paper. Stick double-sided tape on one side. Fold to half and cut the excess. We 
we cut two pieces of 40 mm length. Remove the white paper out of the tape, put a 28 gauge wire in the middle leaving about 5 mm from the tip of the paper, and fold the other half. Crease along the wire area. Fold the paper along the wire area and cut out an inverted egg shape. Attach the leaves to the stem of the flower opposite each other. Wrap up with florist tape and we're done! For more tutorials, tips, and tricks on flower emulation using papers, hit the subscribe button below. Also, press the bell icon beside it so you'll be notified first when we post new videos.